stomach. Ugh. Look at my. Why do they look so big? Hello, ladies. Let's talk about being friends. Friends to our bodies. Now, I say be a friend to your body. That is my title. Um, because I recognize that we say some things to our bodies that if we said them to our friends, I mean, oh my gosh, people would hate us. I thought about this not too long ago, maybe like a month or so ago. You know, get up, get dressed, looking in the mirror, huh? And I thought, you know what? I really criticize my body criticize it and even at times when I would want to take note of some improvement I realized I would quickly turn to well but look at that look at that back fat yeah the stomach went down but look at that and I thought what if I spoke to a friend that way like you wouldn't want to constantly criticize someone you love you would want to help them to be their best, but you wouldn't want to constantly criticize them. And I wouldn't want anyone to constantly criticize me because it just didn't feel good. So, like, why am I doing that to my body? And so I said, you know what? I'm going to be truthful and I'm going to recognize and speak to my body for what it really is. And so, I started to look at my body and think about all of the wonderful things my body enables me to do. And as I'm going on a walk or I'm going on a jog, I just say I, I'm grateful that my I, I have a body that allows me to do this. I'm so grateful that I'm so grateful that my body allows me to get out here and walk and enjoy nature. I'm, I'm so grateful that. My body allows me to take care of my home and to clean. And I'm so grateful that my body carried my three babies and labored and delivered my three babies. And I've always looked at my stretch marks. I've never had a problem with seeing my stretch marks. Stretch marks to me just remind me that my body expanded. It grew, it made room for my babies and carried my babies. And so, I look at them and I'm just grateful. And I expanded that, that perception to other parts of my body. Yeah, this may be something that I'm improving on, but I'm not going to focus on what I'm improving on in this particular area of my body, whether it's arms or thighs or stomach. I'm just going to be grateful for what those body parts enable me to do. And doing that has helped me to have a greater appreciation for my body. I'm a lot less critical, a lot more lighthearted concerning those things because you know what? I mean, all of that negativity, when we take inventory of, oh, I need to do this, I need to do that, it just builds up such a negative environment and such a sad and depressed feeling to where we look around and we think, why do I feel so sad? Why do I feel this way? And in some cases, it's because we're just building up all of these subconscious negative thoughts about who we are as a wife, who we are as a mother, and our bodies. So if this is speaking to you and something that you want to see change in your life, then I encourage you to you now I think about, wow, you know, I was able to carry two babies. I had two babies at the same time, and these arms... They're strong. They help me to carry them. I'm able to pick up book bags and I'm able to do so many things. I'm able to scrub my floors. I'm able to do so many things with these arms. And I love these arms, whether they're flabby, whether they're fit. I love them because of what they help me to do and overcome in life. And so as we take that negative <sighs> sound bite, and begin to get rid of it and begin to play the truth of the matter. It lightens us, it frees us, it expands us, it opens our world to take in all the greatness that's knocking on the door, all the joy that's knocking on the door and waiting for us. And as we begin to go through and make these adjustments, these friendly adjustments, it's not a way to 
hit ourselves over the head and make ourselves do, but just to be mindful of and to easily and gently make the changes, it makes a big difference on in how we carry out our role as wife and how we carry out our role as mothers and caregivers and on our jobs and in our homes because we're nourishing the spirit within. And so I hope that you have enjoyed this video. This channel is really all about encouraging you to live your version of a full and happy life by nourishing the spirit within and embracing those personal passions, those personal aspirations and personal joys, embracing them and not just letting them just fall by the wayside because we're busy being mom. Let's not be so busy being mom that we forget to take care of ourselves and to love and nurture ourselves. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be happy, live full, love life. Have a happy, happy, blessed day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.